when you buy a new smart device for your home, you would like to immediately connect it to your local network. It can be Wi-Fi or threads. This connection step is called technically commissioning. It involves pairing, device authentication, and network configuration. Many of us had some painful time to commission their new devices to the network, and probably we had to look long hours into documentation or surfing on the net, just trying to solve some little problems. Our latest NFC dynamic tag makes this step even simpler, as simple as just a phone tap. It helps commissioning the device. Moreover, it can help also configuring it, updating the firmware, and by that, avoiding the hassle of reading long user guides. Here, for example, I have a box which simulates a thread. So it's a thermostat connected to a thread network. And what I would like to do is to connect it to my local thread network. So I use my app. I simply click on the thread button here, get it close to the thread box, and start commissioning. So basically, the, fo the phone app will show me the different steps. I do not have to interfere, just keep the phone close to it. And after certain few steps, I will be connected to the, to the thread network. And starting from that, I don't have actually to be close. I just need to click here and change the temperature. If the network fails, I can still also do some configuration. For example, here, I click on the button, I get close to the, to the box, and then I see the configuration. I see it's configured for a French user, so I can change it, for example, to an American user, changing the language, the temperature showing, and the time format, and then update, and then with few clicks, you can see that this configuration is taken into account and that the temperature is shown in the corresponding configuration. So this is what the dynamic tag can do. It can also do more. It can also update the firmware of your thermostat of your device, and it can do much more. You can evaluate it using this standard evaluation kit with many demos already pre-configured, or you can use the STM32 environment and this Nucleo extension board. I invite you to visit our website for more information and hopefully we will talk about it very soon.